People often ask me what can your iPad really do and which apps do I use? Well, recently I got this exciting project to design a small Airbnb and today I was heading to the site to take all the measurements before starting the designing process. And I thought that would be a great opportunity to take you guys along with me and show you exactly how I use my iPad and the Morfolio Trace app for such kind of work. So this is the site and the structure is already up. I'm going to open the Morfolio Trace app on my iPad, tap on the plus icon and select the room plan to begin scanning the space. All you need to do is move your device around. The app gives you step-by-step -step direction and you will see it starts scanning and building the 3D model in real time. Room Plan uses Apple's AI and LADAR to instantly create accurate 3D layouts by detecting walls, doors and furniture. Once the 3D scan is ready, I'll head back to my studio and begin the planning the interiors. As you saw, the space is divided into two levels and I am planning to have kitchen, dining and living area on the ground floor and a peaceful master bedroom upstairs. So let's dive in and start planning. Let's open 3D scan file. At the top, you will find 3D view option. Go ahead and tap on it. Isn't it incredible how smoothly AI technology powered by Apple's AI scans the room? You can explore your scan in orbit, ortho and POV views. On the top right side, you will find the view settings. From here, you can adjust the sun control, changing the north direction and the angle of the sunlight as needed. You can even place the north symbol manually or input the exact location of your site to get accurate lighting. You can also adjust the field of view and set it to a two-point perspective for a clearer composition. For this project, I'll begin by the planning stage so I will switch to ortho top view. Then I will open the view settings again and set the sun direction and angle and tap on tick to continue. We are now in the Morfolio Trace drawing interface. I will begin by tracing the walls. On the left hand side toolbar, I will select the technical pen with solid black line. From the top, I will pick the rural, set its angle to 90 degrees and start drawing the walls like this. I will continue drawing all the walls and then mark the doors and windows. Using the rural tool, I will draw the openings and erase any extra lines with the eraser tool. It's incredibly easy in Morfolio Trace to create clean and straight lines with the rural. To add doors and windows, I will go to the stencil tool, navigate to the symbols folder and select the door stencil. I will zoom in, scale and place the door then use the roller brush from the toolbar to draw the door easily like this. I will also add the bathroom door using the same process. For the windows, you can either use the stencil method or draw them manually. Now it's time to add the staircase. I will go into the settings and enable the grid. I will set the grid to 10 inches since each step is 10 inches. After reducing the opacity of grid, I will position it where I want the staircase to be. This grid will help me draw evenly spaced steps quickly and precisely. With the grid set, I will use the technical pen and the rural to draw the staircase. Now it's time to add the furniture. I will return to the grid setting. This time I will set the grid to one foot and drag it. I will use this grid as reference for adding the furniture. I will go to the bathroom folder in the stencil tool and select the sink. I will scale it, place it, then use the paint bucket tool to fill it. Similarly, from the furniture folder, I will add a sofa to the living area, scale it, place it and drop in the color fill. You can also lock the scale of the stencil like here I want two chairs to be same size so I have locked the scale for uniformity. You can add various accessories to your floor plans like cups, books, TV, plants and more. In the stencil section there's a detail folder with various detail stencils. I will use the insulation detail, scale it, lock its size and use the roller brush to apply it to the walls. 
for the interior walls, I will use the hatch tool. Add a wooden hatch with the rectangular selection tool. If you want to learn in detail how I create these sketchy floor plans in Morfolio trays, I have linked the full course in the description. Now, it's time to add the flooring. Go to the hatch option, select the flooring hatch, use the polygon selection tool to define the area. Once selected, I will scale up the pattern and choose the colored hatch instead of the line drawing. Then fill it in. Now it's time to add text. On the right hand side, tap on the text tool. I will start by adding labels like living area. From there, I can customize the font type, size, color and alignment and then position the text where I want it. To add more text, tap on the plus icon. I will label all the main spaces like entrance, staircase, living area, kitchen, bathroom, dining, etc. If you want to change the style of your text later, you can select them all with the selection tool and adjust their height, color, font style or delete or duplicate them as needed. To add additional text, just tap on the layer and select add text. Now you can add more text on the same layer. Now I want to add dimensions. Tap on the dimension tool, then tap on the two points of the room. Drag to place the dimension. You can repeat this to add multiple dimensions easily. There are also dimension settings where you can adjust the precision, style, size and color. Tap done and your dimension will be added. If you want to export your file, Simply click on share option. You can export your drawing as PDF, image, PSD, vector, project, or even in 3D. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial. From scanning the site with Morfolio Trace to sketching, planning on the top of the 3D model all on iPad. I hope this gave you a clear look into how I kickstart my design process for real projects like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be sharing more videos like this very soon, creative workflows, site visits and everything I do using my iPad. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss a future video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye bye.